Many of us have educated ourselves about COVID situation, vaccination and drugs and what not from the media. Media is talking only about antibodies and academia is talking mostly about natural killer cells and cytotoxic T cell and T helper cell. I don't say media is not updating itself or anything like that. I just want to give you a sneak peek around what actually is happening inside and just leave you guys to analyze what is good and what is great. So with it, let's start. B cells are born in bone marrow. These immature B cells have receptors. These receptors are very important because soon these receptors will become the antibody everyone is talking about. In this state, these antibodies have random unique specificity, which means they know they are born to serve a special purpose, but right now they are unaware of this unique purpose. It is exactly like when she's born, she's destined to be an army officer, but how she will become one, no one knows, not even she. Many circumstances and interaction will groom her to be one. Similar thing happens with the antibody. Earlier, this antibody was just a naive receptor and soon after, it will turn out to be a potent savior. Okay, let's get back to the point. These immature B cells circulate through secondary lymphoid organs like lymph nodes, spleen, mucosa lining and even tonsils in search of a specific microbial molecule or antigen. Here I'm talking about non-self antigen since our body also makes antigen called self-antigen. If the B-cell receptor finds a protein antigen, the B-cell engulfs it and the processed peptide is present on the MHC of the B-cell. It is quite similar to if I eat a pizza, I have to write that on my forehead so that people know that I ate a pizza. Now after some interactions with helper T cells and helper T follicular cells, these B cells get activated and starts making copies of itself. And all of these B cells have the same target, this unique protein, protein antigen. Don't worry about T cells for now. Just think of them as some constant. In the next video, we are going to thoroughly examine them. So these activated B cells are now baptized to become plasma cells. And yes, these plasma cells are the ones who make antibodies. One more thing happens. Some of these special B cells are chosen to be the torch bearers and are made memory B cells and long lived plasma cells. These long lived plasma cells produce antibodies that stays in the body even after the infection is over. And these memory B cells make plasma cells in case this antigen reappears. Moral of the story. Consider yourself protected in future if you have more of long-lived plasma cells and memory B cells because they are the ones who stays like your family. Naively speaking, antibodies are of five types. I know it, it, it won't make a difference, but knowing more does not harm. So the five types are IgM, IgG, IgD, IgE and IgA. All of these are important, but if you want to know, then I'll say IgG, since it is involved in almost all the antibody activities. Antibodies are awesome, no doubt about it. Sometimes they neutralize this antigen. In the case of coronavirus, it is S protein. So antibodies do so by gumming up the structures of this virus that this virus uses to latch on to the host cell that is our cell. Uh, if you guys remember, I promised you in the last video to show the joint effort of natural killer cells and antibodies to destroy these pathogens. Here you go. An infected cell may produce a surface protein recognized by an antibody. This antibody attaches to it. And because of this attachment, the shape of antibody changes slightly, enough to be recognized by natural killer cell. Natural killer cell attach itself to the tail of this antibody and starts releasing cytotoxic substances, thus causing death to the infected cell. This is known as ADCC, antibody-dependent cellular cytoxicity. 
got it antibodies are great i wonder if there could be any issues with antibodies in theory yes in reality there is a big issue if our body produces suboptimal antibodies these suboptimal antibodies do not neutralize a virus antigen fully a phagocyte or this eater cell thinks i should eat the virus since antibodies has already neutralized it but what happens instead is as the phagocyte eats this virus this semi neutralized virus uses this phagocyte as a medium to infect other cells and propagate and how could it do so simple other cells think it's a phagocyte no one could see the hidden virus that's why all the vaccine makers around the world are making sure we don't get suboptimal or weak neutralizing antibodies in enough of pessimism now good news for all the non cesareans out there we the non cesarean ones when we are born we come out with the layer of placenta when we come out of our mother's womb that placenta is full of antibodies these antibodies protect us against all the infections our mother has already faced in a lifetime these antibodies are our only protection against all the pathogens we encounter for next few months until we develop our own immune system fully i salute all the mothers who along with this immunity also provide their kids with the power to dream dream big now is the time to say goodbye many thanks our next video is on t cells along with many intuitive and counterintuitive info i hope to see you soon